Well, hello everybody, Mark Anthony of The Vegas Tourist, and welcome back to my channel. Well, if you've had an opportunity to get off, off the Vegas Strip, get into suburbia, maybe a drive through one of the, one of the sub suburbs here, if you have, you will probably have a question. And chances are, that question is, what in the world is a Terribles? Well, I'm going to show you what a Terribles is. There is a story behind that, and I'm going to tell you that story right now. The original name was Terrible Hearst. The B is silent. It was started by a man by the name of Ed Hearst, who started the Martin Oil Company in Chicago in 1938. In the 1940s, Ed expanded west to Wyoming and opened a couple of stations there before moving to Las Vegas in the 1950s. His son, Jerry, joined the family business in 1959, rebranding it as the Terrible Hearst Oil Company. So you ask me about the name. Well, each time the Elder Hearst would open a new gas station, competitors would be on the move. Here comes that Terrible Hearst, inspired in the chain's name. He would do whatever he could to get people to his gas stations and convenience stores. Hearst was credited with becoming the P.T. Barnum of gasoline by engaging in unusual marketing strategies and undercutting the competition with low prices, and he pioneered the convenience store model. For example, there'd often be pony rides for the kids and beautiful women pumping gas. Yes, my younger friends, there was once a time when other people pumped your gas for you. Today, Terribles operates more than 180 convenience stores and fuel stations and more than 80 car washes in Nevada, California, Utah, and Arizona. They also operate the largest Chevron in the world in Gene, Nevada, on the California-Nevada border. That has over 96 pumps and 60 bathroom stalls plus a 500,000 square foot convenience store. I made a video about that when it opened and I will include a link to that below. Most stations also have an oversized American flag flying and the prominent logo of an old western guy with a large mustache and a gas pump in his hand. Their slogan is, the best bad guy in the west. Now the original name was Terrible Herbs, but a few years ago they shortened it to just Terribles. It's still a family-run operation. Ed died in 1966 at the age of 80 and then his son Jerry took over. Jerry passed on in November of 2018 at the age of 80 as well. The company is now run by his sons, Tim, Troy, and Ed Hurst. Well, there you have it, folks. Now you know what a Terribles is. Now, if you could do me a favor, like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, leave me your comments and your questions down below. Follow me at The Vegas Tourist, and I will see you on the next video.